Hello guys. So, uh, today's Friday. Um, I booked the day off work. Because um, I've got to use up my annual leave before the end of March. So, I thought I'd get cracked on with this 180 brake horsepower engine that I'm on with. So I'm still doing some um, checks uh, and some what ifs, basically. Um, so one of the things I've done is I bought a set of R1 rods and pistons off an early R1 um, because I think the stroke for a Thunder Ace is 56 and the rods I've bought are 57 or 58, something like that. So it's an extra mil or two mil, I can't remember. Um, but the bore is slightly smaller. On the Thunder Ace, I think it's 75.5. On this R1, I think it's something like 70 or something. Because you can clearly see that um, this is the R1 piston. So that's a 4X something or other. And in there is the 3GM. Um, actually, this is a YZF 1000 piston and rod. Uh, and that's an R1 piston and rod. So you can see that it clearly doesn't fit. But that's not the point of this. The point, is, actually, what I should have done is I should have put a Thunder Ace piston on that R1 rod. But the point of this exercise is, is to see how far up um, the, the, the piston is above the base where the, where the cylinder heads will be, um, if that makes sense. So what I've done is I've just fabricated this quick and dirty method of turning the engine over. So if I just turn this over a little bit, just bear with us. I need to make a proper tool to turn the engine over because this is just ridiculous, is this? It's um, let me bloody adjustable on it. Fucking hell. Right, so let me just bring that. Right, hang on a minute. Because these fucking cam chains getting in way. Right. I really need that bloody. Uh... I shouldn't have put the cam chain on actually to test this, but I want to put the head on as well. So, just bear with us two seconds while I turn this over. Try and, oh, I'll try and turn it over. Whilst holding the camera and holding the cra the cam chain. Hang on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. So, get in there slowly. Right, so this, so that one there, that's the FZR 1000 slash Thunder Ace piston um, at top dead centre. Um, so this one must be at bottom dead centre now, this R1 piston. So what I'll do now is I'll make the R1 at top and that will be at bottom. So just give us two seconds. Right. So now that one's at bottom of dead centre, this is at top dead centre. So you can clearly, again, this isn't the right piston, this is, this is an R1 piston. That's why it's wobbling all over the shop, so just ignore that for now. Um, actually, I think I need to put a Thunder Ace piston on that R1 Conrad, don't I? To get a more accurate... But to say that that rod is supposed to be 2 millimetres or a millimetre longer than the FCR 1000 one, it doesn't look as though it's protruding um, up, does it? But let me come back a minute and I'll just get the, I'll get a piss, yeah, two seconds. Right, I think this is a showstopper straight away because um, that's the R1 piston, it's a 4XV. Um, this is the R1 rod. This is a, thund a 3GM Thunder Ace slash FZR 1000 piston. 
but you'll notice straight away the R1 rod obviously goes on to uh, you know the pin but there's no way on the surface it's gonna right two seconds let me get me fucking So this is the FZR1000 Thunder Race piston pin. This is the R1 Conrod. There's no way that's going in there. So straight away, I'm resting the camera on my belly. So straight away, I would need a lathe or something to, or get some new pins manufactured so that in fact, you can't do it, can you? Fuck's sake. It's fucking camera. See what I mean? Look, that's... So it's just slightly. Right. Forget that idea. So I bought a set of R1 rods and pistons. I only I paid 40 quid. Um gonna be too much fucking about what I, the the object was i was i was gonna try instead of just reboring that engine to um what is it a 77 or something like that or fucking whatever from a 75.5 up to a 77 which would make it into a 1040 i wanted to rebore it and then i wanted to put these r1 rods on which were an extra millimeter long or two millimeters long to give it a longer stroke so it'd be a 77 bar by a, 50, a 57, 58 stroke, something like that, um, if you know what I mean. Which is taking it up to a 1, a 10, 80. <sighs> um, because for me to get a 10, 70 kit, not only have I got to buy a set of pistons, I've got to buy some new fucking sleeves as well and re-sleeve it. So that's why... I think I don't. I don't. I didn't want to go down that route, but I spent forty quid on some pistons, and it's obviously didn't work. Because I, 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 I honestly thought I'll be honest with you, that the piston pin on the R1 would have been the same as the Thunder Ace or whatever. But obviously, it's a lot smaller. Um, you can see that the rods are a lot different as well. So this is. That's an FCD R1000 slash Thunder Ace rod compared to the R1 rod. You know, there's there's the R1's a lot lighter, a lot thinner. If I can, I need a proper camera, fucking tripod, don't I? You know, you can see that the. the so that's what that's what my thought was behind it. Um, but obviously, that isn't going to work. So I think what I'm going to do then, I'll junk that idea of the R1 fucking, I'll take that one out. I'll junk the idea of the R1 rods in and just stick with the Thunder Ace slash FZR 1000 rods uh, and just get it reboard to a 1040, I think. Right, anyway. F fuck it. <laughs> 